with another video for you guys. Today we're at Cape Canaveral, but this time I'm on my kayak, as you can see. I got my live croakers. I only got seven of them. I'm gonna try to catch more with my uh, sabiki. I got them ready. I have some uh, fish bites as well, so I'm gonna try to catch my own croaker too after I'm done with those. But it looks like an overcast, nice day. It shows for a thunderstorm around 11, so I might have to hide in here somewhere. But other than that, man, I hope it's gonna be a good day trying to target snook redfish with the live croakers. And then I got some uh, filler crabs as well. I'm gonna try the rocks. I got them right here. They work really well for ship set, even black drum. So I'm gonna target those as well by the rocks or by the jetty too. I could try that as well. As you can see, sun is about to come out. It's 6.30 a.m. Hopefully a beautiful day, man. I'm expecting a nice day. I love being on a kayak, man. It's totally different. You know, if you ask me boat or a kayak, I'll definitely take the kayak for sure. So I'm in my element for sure. But here we go, guys. So let's see what we got today. I'll let you know right, later guys, on. guys, here goes our first croaker. Hook through the tail with the circle hook. That's a number four. I got some split shots there just to keep him down. And we're just gonna toss them there, free line. Oasis of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. Just coming in. Well guys, little update, it's been an hour and a half. I'm really battling the waves, man. The wind, 18 miles an hour, south, southwest. And some of the waves come in four or five feet high. It's ridiculous. And the swell is like five seconds apart, so it's pretty close. So I'm trying to maintain my exact spot. I wish I had that spot luck, man. Old Town Sportsman Series. Look at these waves. Woo! Some of them less than five seconds, actually. Well, anyways, still trying with my hobby. Forward, reverse. But it's very difficult. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to stay here probably under an hour. Once the wind and the waves comes down, I'm gonna try to cut the corner to the south and try to go more inlet so I could actually fish with peace of mind. Because right now, whew, it's gnarly. Not a good day for a kayak. I thought it was going to be 10 to 12 miles an hour. Look at that one. Woo, baby. But these are pretty high waves. So I'll give you an update. But I'm still here, man. Trying to catch my redfish and snook <laughs> with my live croaker. Eee. Guys, he got crazy. No bite. Tried seven croaker. How you doing? It's so hard to stay on, man. Woo! I'm gonna go inlet. A little less wave, a little less wind. It's crazy. I mean, winds are crushing. And it's all mixed. South, southwest. Woo! Safety first. I safely made it inlet. I'm right by the jetty. They only allow annual pass holders. So jetty park is open right now, but only for annual pass holders, just to let you know. I'm gonna work that buoy, because uh, I do see a lot of people, well not a lot, but I do see people catching triple tail with the shrimp. So that's what I got. I don't have live shrimp, I'm supposed to throw free line live shrimp, or triple tail but hey I got my Carolina rig and I got my frozen shrimp so <laughs> I'm over here at 27 feet that's the drop off right after the uh, right in front of jetty it's around 15 16 and then you got your drop zone 
and that's when it goes down to 27 and eventually to 46 and that's right by the buoy so I'm gonna try that I marked a couple fishes already uh, on the 24 but I want to go a little deeper so and I'm gonna just go ahead and put it down all the way up oh, here we go I see already one coming yep that's the drop zone right by the buoy so I'm just gonna drop it and probably do it on the other side here we go because the wind and the currents taking me that way to north you still got the south winds let it go all the way down see right here after 35 it goes all the way down to 47 another big drop zone so 17 to 27 27 to 47 so you got two drop zones right here between the jetty and the buoy oh uh, fish on something small it was all the way down oh look at that croaker I might use that as a bait that's kind of big but hey you know let's do this all right so we got our big ass croaker ah, see any reds or snooks are running this way they might so, why not we'll try Gonna toss him this way. Alright, let's go croaker. Man, I found magic. a honey hole for the croakers. <laughs> That's a good size. That's my fourth one now. Alright, at least I'm catching croakers, man. That's a good size for bait guys. Perfect for redfish snook. So I'm gonna throw that one. That's All a good right. one. Put it in the live well. Getting another right. croaker, guys. Oh yeah, ah, good size. Okay, wow. Definitely found the spot. <laughs> All right, this is All nice. Right, guys, that's a croaker. good depth right here. I'm in ten feet. I'm gonna use my Rapala minnows as well right here. I'm gonna troll that as well. That's a deep diver with the lip. And I got my live croaker too, so. Let's troll, man, let's troll. So we're trolling. Rapala on the left, live croaker on the right. That's what we're doing, guys. Going two miles an hour right now speed to attract some fish. Maybe Spanish, blues, redfish or snook. All right. Oh. Oh, look at that grouper. Woo! Look at that grouper, guys. Dang! I think grouper has to be at least 12. So let's measure that. See what we got. that is gonna be more than 12 oh yeah there you go guys that's a nice grouper and we have 12 exactly a little over 12 well actually just 12 man Woo! Well, I'm gonna let him go it's too close for comfort 
There we go. Look at those teeth. All right. Nice group, man. That's a good fish. There you go. Beautiful fish. Thanks for playing, my brother. down man I got beat down by the waves and the wind what a day oh my god I am beat guys the sea got the best of me Woo! I was out there 7 a.m. it's 4 15 right now 74 I was fishing non-stop I went everywhere south north drugs pier jetty all around trolling absolutely nothing i cut those croakers too man i got eight nine of them incredible perfect size throw them out there i went back to south nothing man not a one redfish snook not a bite so i don't know what happened today maybe the winds uh it was crazy man it was too much for a kayak if you don't have a uh, Minkota trolling motor or you're not anchoring with a nice boat, having a kayak in these conditions is suicide. I try my best, but there is no way you could stand those waves. You know, it's impossible. I have an anchor, but I cannot anchor. There's no way. I'm definitely gonna tip over for sure. Uh, and I just try to paddle back and forward. That's the only thing I could do. You know, but at the end of the day, man, nothing. A lot of croakers, got that grouper, got a couple pinfish, and just bait fish, man, that's it. Absolutely nothing else. So, C got the best of me today. So, I do apologize for that. I wanted to really get you guys a nice redfish snook footage, but I guess another day, man. But I really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm 413, almost 500, cross my finger. I wanna hit 1000 before the year end, so that's my goal. I'm gonna be trying to make videos every week, so that way you guys can get engaged, make comments, let me know where you want me to go. And then, that's it, man. I really do appreciate you guys subscribing. If you haven't saw, please do subscribe, and I will definitely get you a much better video next time, I promise. See you guys.